So over the last couple days, it has been pouring rain and last night I woke up in the middle of the night to a really loud dripping sound coming next to my bed. So I called my apartment this morning. I said, my walls are leaking, rain is coming in. And when they came out, they said, this is a huge problem. There is a ton of moisture in your walls and we're gonna have to have you clean out your entire room and your entire closet so that they could fix this. So all day today, I have been bringing up all of my clothes from my closet and dumping them all in the living room so they could fix the walls downstairs so I am surrounded by my closet and seeing all these clothes up here stacked in a huge pile has made me realize how much I need to do a huge closet clean out I've been wanting to film this video for a while so I feel like this is the universe telling me it's time I need to get rid of stuff little did I know this construction project was gonna be so intense it's taken over a month to get our room repaired we couldn't sleep in our bed we had to sleep at a hotel the entire wall was removed my closet was redone everything Everything was repainted. It's been crazy, but this is where the video started and this is what influenced me to do a closet clean out. I figured since everything was out of here, I might as well start from the beginning and redo everything. This is literally like all my clothes on this couch. I cannot believe this. See, my closet is completely cleaned out. You can even hear the echo. Looks so crazy though, like I just moved in. So this is literally what my living room looks like right now. I have like the thickest pile of clothes on my couch right here. I also changed into a really comfortable the outfit so I have on this tank top from Brandy I love the color very comfy and then my favorite sweatpants from aloe I also put my hair back so I am ready <laughs> So far, I'm just making piles of all the items. So I have long sleeves, sweaters and jackets, dresses, tank tops and short sleeves. And then this pile is kind of whatever I see firsthand that I know I wanna get rid of. So as I go, I'm gonna keep putting clothes in my donate pile. I'm kind of just trying to get everything organized for now and putting things in the get rid of pile that I know I wanna get rid of. Definitely gonna get rid of a lot more stuff as I go through everything, but I also wanna try stuff on and narrow things down once everything is organized and I start to see exactly what I have of each piece. It always looks way worse after I've made a lot of progress versus when I started. Like it was not this messy at the beginning of this video, but now that I've been sorting for a couple hours, it looks way more messy. I have like a huge pile right now. I've just been sitting in the middle. So every time I have that surge of energy to go through my entire closet, I'm like, I can't give up in the middle. I literally have done that too many times where I try to tackle a project and then halfway through, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Because I don't even wanna finish. I don't have any energy left. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I just wanna sit down and take a break and work on this tomorrow, but we're gonna keep pushing through. We're not gonna quit. like right now it looks so weird empty so I really want to figure out the best way to fill this up I've kind of always been very against dressers because putting things in drawers just never work out for me like I always end up just piling things in but I think if I just hung all my clothes up on these racks and then put my bras and socks and everything else in the drawers it would make everything so much easier and I feel like it would stay much more organized so that's what I'm thinking they have a really cute simple dresser at Ikea so I think that's what I'm gonna put right here
As I was telling you guys in the intro, we had a bunch of construction, the wall had cracks in it, the rain was coming through. I thought those issues were only gonna last like two days and they were gonna be in here quickly and fixing it. But it has been over a month and we finally just got our room back. They took out like our entire wall, they sectioned off our room, it was freezing in here and we had like this super loud machine getting the moisture out of the walls. We stayed at a hotel, we slept on the couch upstairs. So weeks later, we finally have our room pretty much back together. There's still construction going on in the other room, but I was able to put all my clothes into my closet. As you could see, I just needed to get them off the floor upstairs. I just threw them in here. They are not organized at all. So finally, I am able to get back to this video and continue with this closet clean out. So before I had to take everything out of my closet, I had it all organized into groups. So I would have tank tops, short sleeves, long sleeves, dresses, all of that. So that is what I want to do again. It's just way easier in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to each section and pick out what I want to wear. Also when I'm putting away clothes, everything has a spot to go. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. I also have quite the donate pile going. So we are making progress. <laughs> So this took forever, like way longer than I expected it to, but it looks so much better. It looks way more cleaned out. I feel like I can actually go through my stuff and like see each thing instead of the hangers being like so packed together. I'm really happy with this. I feel like it's organized. I didn't really organize the shoes that much. I kind of just put out the ones that I like the most. On the top are more of my shoes that I kind of change out. And then I have like slippers and my Birkenstocks are under here, my boots. I love it, honestly. The colors look super cute. I feel like I can see everything so much better. These are all my tank tops. They take up the most space in my closet. Going forward, I do not need any more tank tops. I have short sleeves, long sleeves, and sweaters, and then dresses at the end. All my pants, skirts, shorts, everything. Hung up some purses. And then in here, I have bras, socks. I think I'm gonna put my bikinis in here too. I have some accessories on the top, like scarves, belts. So we are looking really good. You know what we need to add in here is a rug right like that looks so cute I feel like it looks much more cozy and complete I'm obsessed So next on this wall, I think is where I want to hang my purses. I used to have them hung up in the closet, so I think I'm just going to put a couple on this wall. I am so good. I saved all the hooks that I used at my last apartment um, because these are so expensive, so I'm glad I didn't have to buy any. I'm just going to put up two or three of these hooks for now, see how it looks. I don't want it to look like really cluttered in my room, so I feel like just a couple purses right here would be cute. And this is one of my favorite purses. It's this little shoulder bag. I actually bought it in Paris which makes it so much cuter. So I'm gonna use this as like the size reference. Now to figure out which purses get to get hung up. Lots of options. It's gonna be so fun to switch these around. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I feel like the colors go pretty well together. I feel like this is a really simple way to store my bags. It's not like too cluttered, it's pretty cute. had a dresser since I lived at home and I hated having a dresser just because over time I always end up piling everything into the drawers and it doesn't stay organized but with this one I'm hoping that doesn't happen so I've been looking on Pinterest and I found this really cute white one that'll match everything as I told you guys in the beginning of this video I think this would help my organization so much better it's at Ikea my favorite place I literally go there way too often and I'll tell you guys all about how I'm gonna fill it up and organize and decorate it on top I'm so excited but right now I am headed to Ikea to pick it up. We're gonna build it in this video and we're gonna put it all together. It 
It is time to build. I've been putting this off all day. I just want it to be done. I don't want to build. Ikea furniture is a lot of work and there are three big boxes here. So heavy. I'm sitting on my floor in my room because my dresser is gonna go right here against this wall. So I might as well build it down here. Let's get started. <sighs> Here is what my dresser looks like all put together. As you can see, I've really started decorating. <laughs> now these are the only things I have on my dresser so far. Not looking the cutest, but I have a lot of ideas of what I wanna put on here. Definitely a mirror, maybe a little cute perfume holder, some little decorations, a jewelry holder. For now, this is the progress. So I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna organize my dresser. I love this. I think this was a great purchase. It fits perfectly on this wall. My closet is literally right here so it'll be perfect to get ready in the morning so for the most part I am using this for storage I honestly just needed another place to put clothes and since my closet is just to hang stuff up I needed some drawers so it's not the most aesthetic it's not the most cute I just kind of needed to pile things in here so first at the bottom it's already jam-packed with pajamas my typical pajama outfit is sweatpants or these comfy pants from Target and a tank top this drawer is filled with all my new clothes. So these are all clothes I got in the last like two months. I didn't realize how much I shop until I saw this. I just like to keep my new clothes separate from my other clothes just because I don't want to forget about all the stuff I'm buying. And a lot of times I buy these new outfits specifically for a certain video or a certain event I have coming up. At the top, this is a cute drawer. I wasn't planning on making this drawer so cute, but as soon as I started, I was like, oh my God, this is making me so excited. So I have a lot of these cute lacy bras. Don't really wear most of them, if I'm being honest. Like this one from Skims is pretty comfy. And this peach one I got forever ago, and it looks really cute under tank tops for summer. And then I have my little Brandy shorts collection. I wear a lot of these to sleep. Over here, I have all my workout stuff. Can you tell my favorite color to wear to the gym? You guessed it, it's black. In here, I have underwear, bras, and socks. I had them for the longest time in the little clear drawers in my closet. I just started moving them into here. So I have one more drawer left, and we are gonna fill this up right now. I am really happy with how everything came out. I feel like this was a mini room transformation and it feels so much better in here. Mm -hmm. 